The third way that alcohol affects your gut health is it causes inflammation, which starts in the gut and then leads to inflammation throughout the whole body. When I was drinking, I didn't realize how puffy I was. And when I quit, even with no changes in weight, I had to get a smaller size in my clothes because I was so puffy all the time. Alcohol causes a large amount of inflammation throughout the whole body. Alcohol enters the gut first, obviously, because you drink it, and then it's absorbed into the bloodstream in the upper intestines, and that's how it gets to the liver. If you've listened to my episodes on how alcohol is processed in the body, then you may remember that it's first converted into the metabolite acetaldehyde, which I was mentioning earlier, and this is 10 times more toxic than alcohol. Acetaldehyde is what causes a lot of damage and can lead to cancer. The enzymes that process alcohol in the liver are actually present in other areas too, like the breast, which is why alcohol increases the risk of breast cancer and in the intestines. So intestinal bacteria can also produce acetaldehyde in the GI tract, which is another reason why alcohol increases the risk of GI tract cancers. So remember, acetaldehyde is super damaging to whatever it interacts with. So the metabolism of alcohol in the intestines promotes chronic inflammation. This can actually change the cells in the GI tract and lead to increased permeability, meaning stuff can get into your bloodstream that normally shouldn't, and that's obviously not good. When we quit drinking, alcohol is no longer disrupting the gut microbiome, which allows the beneficial bacteria to flourish and the balance to shift towards a healthier state. The gut lining can also start to heal, which improves the absorption of nutrients from food and supports your overall digestive health. And as I explained recently in episode 159, the body heals much faster than the brain. Studies on drinkers in recovery have found that 19 days is enough time to see a rebound of good bacteria in the gut. And after about three weeks, intestinal permeability has returned to normal, meaning the intestines are blocking the bad stuff that we don't want to enter our bloodstream. I've heard from a lot of people that their acid reflux improves or goes away within the first month. So even though you may be eating a lot of sugar and sobriety, the gut can still heal. And I have a few episodes on sugar too if you're interested. (laughs) 